Hi, I'm Sean Rasmussen from Learn How to Blog. Your Google Plus profile is how you are seen online, how people will perceive you, and it's a very important thing to set up properly. So let's get straight into it and have a look at how it's done. When you view your profile, you can view it as yourself or you can view it as public. That's a good way to see what other people can actually see when they're looking at your profile. In this case, these are the things that I have shared on Google+. As you can see, I'm in the Posts tab at the moment. I'll click back so that I'm viewing as myself. And of course, at this stage, I would have to assume that you have already signed up for Google+, through your Google account. Click the About tab. And this page will show you everything that's going to be available for the public to see. And you'll be able to adjust it accordingly. The first thing to do is to make sure you're not a blue head. A blue head is someone like this, where you'll just see a blue head. Now to be fair, no one's going to take you seriously if you want to be below average. So let people at least have some sort of representation of you. And the best thing to do is to use an image that actually looks like you, something that you want to be represented by. Simply go up to your profile image and click on it. Now you can simply drag a photo in and that photo you can readjust and then set it as profile photo. You will then have an image that is seen online. Now straight away you're much better than the average bluehead. The other thing is to have some sort of cover. Hovering over the cover whilst in the about mode, you can change the cover. You can select any of these pre-made ones or you can upload one. The sizes of these covers change from time to time as Google Plus improve their social media networking platform. When you've uploaded one and sized it, simply click select photo cover. Now it's time to invest a little bit of your time into setting this up so that people will get to know who you are and people can work out whether or not you're worth their while to follow on Google+. Why would people want to put you in their circles? Well, first of all, give them enough information so that at least they can make up their mind. In here you'll see people that are in your circles and have you in circles, a story about you, what your working history is, your education, and so on, places you've been. And there are different ways of changing this. First of all, you can go to each section. Remember, you are in the About tab for this to work. And you'll see an Edit button come up. And you will be able to click that Edit button in each section. You can see there's Edit, for everything and you can edit everything individually. Simply fill that in and click Save. The other way you can do it besides jumping into each individual one is to simply click the Edit button under the very first section called People. And that's easy enough to remember just in the first section and here you will see the circles up the top that says People, Story, work, education, places, basic information, contact information, links, and apps. And you can just simply go and set this and then scroll on to the next one. Having a look again, you're in the About tab and under People, click Edit. Right, so who do you want people to be able to see? In other words, do you want them to be able to see what people are in your circles? And do you want them to be able to see who have got you in their circles. You can do this this way. For instance, people that are in my circles, and I'll go through circles in another video, this is just about the profile setup, but people in my circles, I've got a heap of different circles. I've chosen for people to be able to see the celebrities and people that I'm just plain following back. But I've got clients, I've got all sorts of people in these circles and I don't necessarily want them to show up. So I'll simply just select the circles that I want to show up and that's it. 
Who can see them? Only people in my circles or public, meaning anyone. Well, I'm quite happy for anyone to see it. So they can only see people that are in those two circles. At any time I can go in and edit that and say, you know what, I want them to see my clients and I can tick my clients A, B, C or D to which ones I would want them to see. Likewise, who have got me in circles. So people that are on Google Plus that have put me in a circle, do I want people to see that? Literally, yes or no. Yes, I'm quite happy for anyone to see who has put me in a circle. And then I'll click Save. I can jump on to the next one. That's my story. So in here, I'll write a little bit about myself. So here's a little bit of a trick, and this is a trick that you will learn after you have basically got a little bit of experience on Google+. And this is what the professionals do on Google+. So why not share that with you now so you can set it up immediately. This is called a hover card. It's a card that shows up when you hover over someone's profile. Like this, I'm back on my home page of Google+, you hover over their name, and it will say a few things about them. In this case, it's in Turkish. So if you have a look at my hover card, my hover card says, professional business brand blogger. That's my tagline. That will show up on my hover card. Then I put an introduction about myself, and this is basically a story about me, and only you are qualified enough to write your own introduction. Yes, you can link in here to sites outside of Google. For instance, your blog. Then I write a story about myself, in other words, bragging rights, and this is where you can be Mr. Ego, if you like, or Mrs. Ego, and then you can save that. The next step is to go into work, right? So where have you worked? What's your occupation? In this case, I call myself a blogger, content marketer, and author. These are my skills, this is where I currently work, and former places that I work, and then you scroll down and save. The next step is your education, and of course you can be totally cliche and write that you went to university of life like 600 billion other people do, that's your choice, and then you can click save as well. Next, places that you lived. In my case, I've lived in a lot of places. I chose to put them all in. You just tick the current one, save, go on to your basic information, gender, male or female. It's a good idea to get that one right. And then you got this sort of garb, right? What are you looking for? Well, I'm not really looking for anything. I didn't have a fun box, so I didn't have anything to tick. Put in your birthday, whether you're married and blah, blah, blah. And, and so on, save. Then you can put your contact information in. Now this is a good idea if you're in business so people can actually contact you and you can actually put all of your different emails in there and also your address. These are things that will show up on your profile. See here, it says your circles. I can make it available to the public. I can make it available to only my circles or only me. Of course, you save that and then you got links. Remember that you can go through and do all of these in their individual sections on the About page. This is just a convenient place where you can do it all in one spot. Here is my vanity URL, if you like. So googleplus.com forward slash Sean Rasmussen AU. And the reason I put AU at the end was because someone actually impersonated me on Google Plus and I wasn't able to get their profile taken down. So they put all my details up and they used my name and therefore my profile name was taken. So I had to add the letters for gold at the end. Also being the abbreviation for Australia, which is pretty cool. So Sean Rasmussen AU. Right, so in here you can customize this. In other words, make it camelback so that you've got capitals where you choose. What you can't do you cannot change the actual name itself. You can only capitalize things. This is the URL that Google will allow you to have. You add in your other profiles, such as 
Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You simply add custom links. Let's say I want to add in my YouTube profile, then I could type in YouTube profile there and I put the actual URL in here and so on. And I would just click add custom link and add more. And when I save, they will then go into my profile. Then this area here, under links again, contributor to. This is how my Google authorship markup shows up. So this is when you do a search on Google. Let me do a quick search on Google now. And I've just switched over to my non-favorite browser called Internet Explorer because I'm logged into my Google Plus profile and when I search on Google, none of my own stuff will show up because I am logged in. So it figures that I'm not looking for myself. So therefore, I've gone into a different browser, being Internet Explorer, and I will search for the previous article that was written a few days ago on Learn How to Blog. And I'll type in the title, Chalk as a Content Marketing Tool, and click Search. And if you have a look here, we got some ads up the top, but basically, this is Nick. He's the guest author on Learn How to Blog. And this is the actual article on learnhowtoblog.com.au. And as you can see, we've got an image of Nick there. And if we wanted to get an image of yours truly, then I would type in Google Plus on Blog World, which was the previous article I wrote. And as you can see, there is the author's avatar of myself. Now, here's the thing. Use an image on Google Plus in your profile that is the same image as you use everywhere online so that you can brand yourself and get known as you, the person. And this is why I think it's extremely important that you are yourself on Google Plus and on other social networks as well. Because there's no need to act the guru and act the expert all the time. Fine, be the expert on your business profile, but this is your personal profile and in my humble opinion, I think life is about having fun and being yourself. So be yourself on your personal profile. Later, we'll go through your business profile and there you can be Mr. or Mrs. Professional as much as you like. That's what I think anyway. So in this section, remember we are setting up our links in our about section, in our profile, in our personal profile. So here we got this section called contributor to. So if you are writing blog posts on a blog, and in this case, this is my blog, learnhowtoblog.com.au, I add that blog to the contributor to section and leave it as public. And in this case, I have added in learnhowtoblog.com.au, and I've just written learn how to blog there as the title, and I've made myself a current contributor then I've also added in learnhowtoblog.com.au forward slash the authors page. This is the page where the authors show up. And I've just done that as an additional step to make sure that Google gets it into their head that I am actually an author on this blog. This isn't necessarily a step required, but I like to dot my I's and cross my T's. So if someone comes to me and says, Sean, I've done this step here and, and Google just doesn't get it, then they're not picking me up. I tend to go and add this section in to make sure that they really do get picked up. Meanwhile, other blogs, travelupon.com and so on, other blogs that I'm contributing to, other blogs that I might be guest authoring on and so on, add them all in there and then click save. And the last section, that is just simply apps that are interacting with Google+. Not so important, no need to go through that here. At the end, you would just save it all, and away you go. So as we finish up here, again, remember we're in the About section of your personal profile. It's important you've got an image that people recognize you as. It's a good idea to have some sort of image here as well that you're happy with and fill in all the sections and with your hover card 
these are the areas that you fill out that will stand out on your hover card when people check you out. Because when people see you do stuff on Google+, they will check your hover card. First, your name will come up on the hover card. Then, under your story, your tagline will show up on your hover card. Next, your employment will show up on your hover card. And in this case, I didn't write learn how to blog. I wrote learnhowtoblog.com.au because that shows up on my hover card and then people have now got a visual representation of where to go to find me. Then the next is under my education. Business brand marketing also shows up on the hover card and then my current place of living will show up as well. So those little points about the hover card and having your profile filled out properly, they are absolute gold in getting you set up and started on Google+. Because you can do all the other stuff, if you don't do this right, then you may just not look professional, you may just not look worth people's while to have you in their circles. That's all from me for now. I'm Sean Rasmussen from Learn How to Blog. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon in the next video.